Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between merge and union all transformation in SSIS? So let's go to SSDT and then we will talk about that and uh, also perform a demo. There are three major difference between a union, union all and merge transformation. Uh, the very first is merge always accept uh, the sorted inputs uh, and in union you don't have to provide sorted uh, inputs second part is the merge uh, can accept only two inputs uh, and union can accept uh, any number of uh, inputs uh, it can accept two or even more the third major difference is the merge will output uh, the sorted uh, data but union will uh, give uh, unsorted data whatever uh, the, the flow will be it, uh, it really doesn't matter in the case of uh, union all it will be giving you random data uh, coming from the input so, so these these are the major three difference let's uh, perform a quick demo and uh, see how it works so first of all uh, let's uh, do a demo on union all bring the data flow task here and the next uh, Thing what we will do we will read the data from a couple of uh, or maybe more uh, sources so bring the OLADB source and as we said that we can read the data from multiple sources and uh, you join that so I'm gonna read in this one from the custom customer table and it has uh, five records the next one I can make copy of this one and just paste it here and I can go ahead and I'm reading from the same database so I can change this one to the customer underscore AS that means Asia so this has also five records and then I can make a copy and paste it again and in this one we can read from another table let's say EU and see if there is data in this okay so there is one record so we have five uh, in this one five record in this one and uh, one record in this one if you guys notice that uh, to work uh, with the union or merger the metadata of all these uh, uh, columns should be the same the data type should be the same that's how it, uh, they are going to work the names can be different uh, uh, in this case uh, let's say we have f name here and the uh, last name and uh, name and address and all that even uh, here if we would have a uh, um, last name or first name or uh, street address that's not gonna matter as long as uh, the metadata the data types of these columns are same the names are not going to make a difference but the data types are so bring uh, the union all transformation and now connect it Uh, double click on union all and then you can map the columns if uh, they are not mapped uh, automatically in our case as the the names were uh, same uh, coming from all three inputs uh, so th that's why they are mapped automatically but in case uh, they are different like uh, in the first one maybe it is a full name and then the next one is a uh, f name or uh, in the uh, first one is the last name last name you know and here it is the L name so you can map uh, by yourself uh, and th this is the if you wanna uh, rename the output column name you can always do it if you want so I'm gonna leave this this one as it is Hit OK now bring the multicast transformation here just for the test purpose instead of writing data some, to some destination I'm writing data to the multicast uh, and put a data viewer in, in uh, between them so I can show you the data so we are reading five from here, five from here, and one record from here. So the total records we should be getting, uh, we should be getting eleven records uh, right here. And let's run it. And uh, we can see that uh, we got all those records. Uh, and the uh, row displayed, if you see that it's uh, eleven. So the total number of records we got on the output, uh, they are eleven coming from di three different sources, uh, and that's how the union all works. Uh. Uh, close it if you are reading the data from the same uh, database uh, 
you you don't want to do this way what I'm doing here uh, what uh, you should be doing you can write your query in a SQL query and uh, join uh, you know you, you use the union all in the T SQL query and uh, that's how you can bring the data here but uh, as uh, I'm just doing the demo and instead of creating files and the uh, different uh, sources let's say this one should be coming from the file this should be coming from Excel file this should be coming from the um, SQL server table um, you know that that's uh, where we need to use the union if they're coming from the same database you can use uh, union uh, all in T SQL but if they're coming from different sources uh, like let's say different uh, sources or different SQL servers then you have to have used uh, a union all transformation the next part is uh, let's go to the uh, next data flow bring the data flow here and in the first data flow what we did we demonstrated how the union all work we can rename this one and say union all just so we don't get confused with the data flow one and two and uh, we can uh, connect it we don't connect doesn't matter so we can call this one merge in the merger if you guys remember that the start and I told it can accept only two inputs and also the f next part is it can own it will only accept uh, the sorted uh, inputs so if we are reading data from customer here and then what I can do here I can uh, put the where clause and say sorted um, uh, order by and sort the data by some col column and then go ahead and uh, set the property is sorted on the uh, OLEDB source and that that should work fine but I don't want to uh, use that one for now I want to show you guys uh, just the conventional way by using sort transformation so tomorrow if you have a excel uh, source or a flat file or um, xml uh, you, or you you don't have to use uh, uh, this OLEDB and uh, put the is sorted property true and all that so I, I, I will have another video on this one how this works uh, uh, yeah, when we get the data from OLEDB source and we can sort the data inside the OLEDB source and uh, set the property is sorted true but they assume that this is coming from different sources and you can't really sort the data uh, in these sources let's get the data from another table now we need to sort the data to sort the data we have a sort transformation I'm gonna bring sort here and then connect the sort here and I'm gonna sort the data on the ID so um, that that's all I can do it if I need to sort the on multiple columns I can sort on all columns but if I'm sorting on ID that's still gonna work and uh, um, you, your requirement could be different and uh, you can select the columns you want it so I'm gonna just uh, sort on ID for now in this case I'm also gonna do the sort on ID and then uh, what we need to, here we need the merge so bring the merge here connect your sort one and we can say input one this is input two and now we can go here and we can check the columns we can see this see uh, we can uh, rename the columns so we have a uh, ID um, came as a sort key one For F name we can let's say we kind of call it uh, first name we can call it first name we can call this one last name as my columns were matching from both inputs uh, their name uh, metadata was also matching and uh, the names itself are also matching that's why it uh, mapped automatically if the metadata is not matching uh, uh, you will have problem so you have to have convert the data types of those columns before uh, using the merger so let's go to the next uh, bring the multicast or uh, any um, if you have a destination you can write to destination in my case I just want to show you the results so I'm gonna put it here multicast so I can implement data viewer between the two transformations so what's going to happen it is a the source is returning as five records and they are not sorted at all so you can see that that doesn't really matter then we're reading them and sorting them this uh, source is also returning as five records and they are all not sorted as well so they will be sorted by this using sort transformation they will be merged and then they should give us a sorted output this can be maybe used in cases where you need to have a create csv file in a sorted form but most of the uh, destinations what we have now 
um, let's say you are writing data to the SQL Server. That doesn't really matter. You write the sorted or unsorted data. If you are writing data to any relational databases, that's not the matter. You want to sort the data and write the data because uh, this that uh, the data will be saved uh, in a different manner it will not be saved uh, in the exact sorted form but we have uh, um, inserted so if even you will write the data to excel you can always go back and sort the data um, so um, there could be scenarios uh, if you, you know where you need to use uh, this uh, merge but i i prefer most of the places uh, we can use the union all and uh, uh, that works better sorter is a uh, asynchronous transformation so it has to get the data in the memory before you start sorting so that kind of get the uh, expensive uh, operation so let's run it and see what we get so we can see that uh, we we read five records from source one and uh, five records from uh, source two, and uh, this is our union all um, data viewer. And but uh, here we are only concerned with the the merge output. Uh, so we can see that we got five records, sort them out, and then five from other one, and then give us total. But they are sorted uh, by the ID. So that's how the so, uh, merge and union all work. And uh, still, uh, uh, I will say, if somebody asks you what you prefer, I will say go with the union all because the sort is a uh, expensive uh, process and uh, it put every record in the memory before even started. So if you have millions of record and you need to put in the memory, you know that that can be very expensive, especially when you have uh, you are short on the memory uh, on the server side. Uh, the other alternative could be uh, if you really need to use this one you might want to put the records into the um, staging table in the same database and just uh, uh, use the um, select query and the order by you know and you don't have to use the sort transformations thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video